Hey everyone, welcome to The Word on Wednesday. We have been in a season called Full On in Church and last Sunday I had the privilege to talk about the Full On Gospel, the Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it brought me to thinking about scriptures that we read oftentimes only at Christmas. And you're there going, why do we only read this at Christmas when this is a scripture in the Bible for our feeding for all time? And uh Bless the Lord, there you go, the first person to mention Christmas this year, and it's only May. And, uh, you know, Wizard sings every Christmas, doesn't he? Well, I wish it could be Christmas every day. And the thing about the good news, these glad tidings, this gospel is, that I can genuinely feel like it's the Christmas feels every day when we embrace the truth of the gospel, the joy of the gospel and the life of the gospel. And so I was thinking there uh, just yesterday about the scripture where the angels appear to the shepherds and the shepherds are completely freaked out. And we read in Luke 2, verse 10 to 12, the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Great joy for all the people. You're part of all the people. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah. He is the Lord. And praise God, I love the simplicity of this, but I love how profound it is as ever from the great word of God. Do not be afraid. Wow. What a word for us in these terrifying times when, again, we're being bombarded with news from various countries about wars and, again, the global pandemic and all that's going on. And yet, praise the Lord, coming with this message of glad tidings, good news, is the instruction not to be afraid. And, and I love that. And, 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 and we hold on to that. So the Lord is always desiring to bring good news. Uh, and he presents the angels to kind of get it out there that good news is coming. Praise the Lord. And it's going to be good news that will bring joy for all people. And so this is the inclusive nature of God again. This is God wanting everyone to know his presence and to know his truth and to really be immersed in his joy for all of us. What is this good news? How can we have this joy? Well, we need to embrace three facts. And they're right here in these verses. The Saviour has been born. Praise the Lord. Salvation has come. The Saviour has been born. The Messiah has come. The Deliverer is here. Praise God. And then the final point, probably the most profound point. He is the Lord. The Lord has become man. He is the Saviour. He is the Messiah. He is truly the Lord. He has become like man. He's become flesh. Praise the Lord. He has come. He is the good news. And he carries Praise the Lord, all that we need so that we can have joy. And I, I want to encourage people today that are just full of fear. Do not be afraid. Praise the Lord. You don't have to wait till Christmas to hear this scripture or to embrace its truth. And it's great to be reminded again that you have a fantastic saviour who is mighty to save. Mighty to save you from those bad thoughts, those bad attitudes, those bad habits, whatever it is, he is mighty to save. It's fantastic for you to know that the Messiah, the Deliverer, has come. He is the fulfillment of all the weighted expectation. And he is the one that fulfills all the prophecies of old. And he has come to fulfill and proclaim his kingdom. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is the Lord. He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And I want to bless you today because God wants you even to leave this little reminder with a great sense of joy and a great sense of there is a redeemer. So bless the Lord for this day. Bless the Lord that I wish it could be Christmas every day. Well, there you go. There is joy for you this very day. Just again, go to the gift of this Christ. Remind yourself how great he is and be blessed in his presence. God bless you and have a great day in Jesus name. Thank you.